y'all these are some of the things that i got oh you know what and tons of mangoes and then some lettuce i'm not really that shy so i don't care back to my channel i'm blossom helping you start your weight loss journey while supporting you along the way and welcome to what i eat in a day raw vegan style okay this is what i figured i figured i will pull out my camera even if i'm never gonna post this on youtube just in case i get the courage to let y'all see what i actually look like early in the morning before i do anything to myself which i'm not sure if i'm at that level yet but and I go raw vegan one day every single week. That was one of my New Year's resolutions or one of my New Year's goals. And um, I've really been loving it. I've really been loving it. It's been helping me a little bit with weight management. It's been helping with digestion. I just love going raw vegan, period. For some reason, raw foods um, excite me. And especially as I've been dealing with this knee injury and as I've been in so much pain, any little thing that brings me a lot of happiness, I just want to you know do more of it and so that one of those little things has been raw food for me you guys i've already had two mangoes because i did not think that i was going to pull out my camera because i really don't want to make myself um presentable i might eat these together as a snack later on but i my watermelon was in the refrigerator so it's cold right now so i want to bring it out because i don't want to eat it too cold and i also brought out I also brought out some of the things that I'm going to be eating today so I could just lay things out and see, you know, kind of roughly plan out for myself, like what I'm going to eat today. And so I'm going to make a juice and it's going to have lime, oranges, um, collard greens, and kale. And that's going to be my juice. I'm also going to have a salad with romaine. I'm going to make a dressing with sunflower seeds, tomatoes, herbs, and spices. I'm going to have carrots as a snack. Um, I'm going to put the avocado on my salad. I might have um, some raw nuts as a snack. And then I might also use this raw vegan, raw vegan walnut taco meat that I marinated in herbs and spices. And yeah, that's pretty much all the raw food that I really like have in my refrigerator right now. Oh, and I have the corn. Y'all, the corn. I want to do something with the corn. Also, I have some raw vegan kelp noodles that I might make a dressing for. Yeah, I might do some things. So, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly like what I'm going to eat. And when I go raw, um one day a week usually it's on monday so you should really follow me on instagram so you can kind of like see what i eat and if you want to raw if you are interested in going raw vegan or just trying to see what it's about trying to see what is the definition of raw vegan like what did the, what does that even mean like what am i really doing if you're curious come over to my instagram click the link in my bio and i will give you a free raw vegan meal plan because i really that's how bad i really want people to try this diet and it's a raw vegan meal plan it's a one day raw vegan challenge actually i'm challenging everybody i know everybody who watches this video to just go raw vegan for one day only and i'm gonna help you do that by giving you a raw vegan one day meal plan if you take my challenge i give you the meal plan and then you tag me on instagram and let me know how it goes you know so i can support you along your journey yeah it's 12 30 i've had my two mangoes i've had water now i'm hungry again i'm craving something savory so i'm just gonna make myself a little quick salad i'm gonna go to aldi's and get a bunch of raw fruits and vegetables and then i'm gonna come back work on some things and just snack and eat throughout the day intuitively as i crave things i will eat them and i'll show you guys what i'm eating you guys also i bought a personal blender from walmart and y'all i think this was like ten dollars like I want to get the magic bullet. I want to get the magic bullet. Um, the magic bullet I think is $60. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. 
but they didn't have the one that I wanted um, in stock. So I was like, you know what, let me just try this and see how it goes. It was only $10, so if I hate it, then I didn't spend that much and then I can still use it for smoothies or something. But what I really wanna use it for is salad dressings and things that I want a small quantity of. I just wanted to show you that if you, you know, if you need a blender or something, you can get started with this little $10 one from Walmart. Okay, you guys, I have a super simple salad. It is just corn, romaine, and avocado because that's all I really have right now. I wish I had some cucumber. Oh, and I would add some tomato, but I don't feel like tomato. I feel like I wish I had some cucumber or some onion. I don't have any red onion. I'm sorry if that was bothering anyone because it would have bothered me. I have tomato in the dressing, so I did. I don't really feel like putting tomato in there. I wish I had some cucumber or some herbs, but I'm going to, woo, yes, put some of this over here. And so this is what we have here. Just a little cute, simple salad, and the base of the dressing is tomato and sunflower seeds. I wish I had some cashews, but I don't, so this is it this is basically like my lunch and then i've been snacking on carrots this whole time so yeah So I am getting ready to go to Aldi's and get some groceries. I just got dressed fighting with this daggone eyelash, y'all. These are some of my favorite eyelashes anyway. But you know, some days I can't put them on, some days, some days. Yeah, so I'm going to Aldi's and get a few groceries, a few fruits and vegetables. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go to the gym first. I'm gonna do arms, just a little bit of arms. Y'all, today is the first day of my cycle, so I feel um, really heavy and super bloated. But anyway, I need to do arms today. I'm supposed to do arms and abs, but I'm just gonna do arms. I might do abs too. So I'm gonna go to the gym for like an hour, and then I'm going to go to Aldi's and get a few fruits and vegetables, and then I'm gonna come back and probably eat like a little snack. Um, and I think I'm gonna eat watermelon. I'm gonna drink water and I'm gonna bring y'all. I'm gonna try to bring y'all with me Okay, y'all I actually made it to the gym. I have accidentally went to the wrong gym So let's hope that I can actually Woo y'all Okay, so I'm in the cycle room and for the first 10 minutes, I'm going to warm up now, I did have pre-workout. The pre-workout that I'm taking right now, I take it like once every week or something like that. I don't even really use it. And just when I really, really don't feel like I have the energy, that's when I use the pre-workout. Or at least the one that I'm using now because I don't really, really like it. So I can't wait till it finished so I can try a new one. But um, yeah, that's the only thing I've had. And I'm, sh I don't, I'm sh I don't know if pre-workout is raw or not, but I had it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get on the bike for like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Y'all know I'm still healing from a knee injury. I do not have on my knee brace. So I really only need to do 10 minutes today. But sometimes I get really carried away because I love it so much. Like, 
it, this is how I'm looking, you know, around the gym or whatever, but y'all, I'm not really that shy, so <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, let me um, do my 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute warm up on the bike. Y'all, I'm just leaving the gym. Ooh, that was a good session. I was in there for exactly an hour. I did my little cardio, and then I did that arm set that you guys saw, but somebody came up to me while I was filming. I had the camera like really low on the floor and everything. Um, and somebody came up to me at, that works at the gym and was like, there's no filming, no filming, blah, 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 so. Um, anyway, I had a good workout. I had a really good, quick, super quick upper body workout. I didn't do abs or anything like that, but I had fun. Let's go to Aldi's and get some fruit and vegetables. Okay, so before I go into Aldi's, I'm just snacking on some of these raw nuts. Well, let's go in. Y'all, these are raw. When I did my raw vegan cleanse in the beginning of the year, I got a pack of these. I got this one. They're really good. They're raw. We're in here, so they're a dollar each. Well, not too bad, but these are good. They're just chia seeds um, and some juices. No artificial colors or anything. I'm not going to get them today, but these are nice. So this is everything I got, y'all. Isn't this cute? This is so mean. Hey you guys, so I just got back from Aldi's and I'm gonna show you guys a little mini raw vegan haul. So these are the type of foods that I would get. These items are not ripe yet. So I'm gonna just be eating what's ripe and you know, I'm just, I didn't wanna get any cooked food so I, so I won't be tempted. I wanna have an abundance of fruits and vegetables when I go raw. Normally, I would go grocery shopping on Sunday Today's Monday, by the way. I, normally, I would go grocery shopping on Sunday or Saturday or Friday and get an abundance of fruits and vegetables so that, you know, that's all I really am seeing around me. So anyway, half of this is not ripe yet, but these are some of the things that I got. Cherries, pineapples, sauerkraut is something really good to get, fermented foods, um, some coconut water, Green onion, tons of mangoes. They were on sale for 39 cents. Lots of cucumbers. Bananas are a great snack to have. And then some lettuce. You now cantaloupes, avocado, we gotta have those. So just a few things uh, that I got. Now I'm going to eat that half a watermelon. I'm on my balcony and it's so pretty out here. And I just, all I'm craving is watermelon because I'm probably dehydrated. Mm. I had a few of those cherries and all I'm craving is fruit like watermelon yeah I definitely haven't had enough water today especially since I went and worked out so mm. and this is a perfect one mm. yeah mm. I'm gonna eat as much of this as I can. Like when I'm raw, I just eat until I'm full. You know, there's no portion control. There's no, none of that. I just eat the food that I've prepared or the food or the fruit or vegetable that I decided to eat until I get full and satisfied. 
Oh, this is so good to me, y'all. Y'all, it's like, what time is it? Y'all, it's 8.30, right? It's 8.30, and in about 15 minutes, it's gonna be dark outside, and I really need to like get in the shower, do my physical therapy exercises, and go to sleep. And doing my physical therapy exercises and getting in the shower takes me about an hour and a half. So it's 8.30, so it looks like I'm gonna be going to sleep at 10, and I really need to be going to sleep around nine o'clock. So um, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be eating anything else because after I ate that half a watermelon, I just don't feel hungry anymore. Like, I feel like I should be eating dinner. Like, I feel like I should eat something else. But I'm just going to listen to my body and I'm just going to do the things that I'm supposed to do. And if I, if I really want something to eat, like after I get out of the shower or when I finish my exercises, I will eat. I am not someone who um, stops eating at a certain time during the day. But something that I do do, that I do do, something that I do is um, when I wake up in the morning, I don't eat, I normally don't eat right away. I make sure that I drink 16 to 32 ounces of water in the morning and I normally don't start getting hungry until around 10, 11 o'clock. So I normally don't eat till around 11 o'clock every single day. But as far as eating at night, I'll eat at whatever time I am hungry and still want to eat. If you follow me on Instagram, you click the link in my bio, you can get your free one day raw vegan meal plan there. And I would love to help you along the way. Please tag me on IG if you decide to take my challenge.